Village of Dorian's Eye is passing over Cape Hatteras this morning as a Category 1 high end with winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 956 millibars as of 9am Eastern Time this September 6th. It's entirely possible that it isn't an actual landfall and that it misses the United States in terms of landfalls as a whole. But this is Cape Hatteras right now on the CDPS scale, stage 4 at this time. Uh, due to the high winds still and an expanding wind field, extensive damage possible. Well, here it is right now on the map, 35.2 north, 75.6 degrees west, and it is, as you can see, the wind field is most expansive on the seaward sides than on the land side, although heavy rainfall could still fall further north and could amount to about another five or six inches. It is currently just 3 miles from Cape Hatteras, 120 from Norfolk, Virginia, 515 from Nantucket, 911 from Halifax, and 1306 from Corner Brook in Newfoundland. These are a list of the warnings right now. Hurricane warning still in effect from Surf City to the North Carolina-Virginia border. Hurricane watch in Nova Scotia, that's not on this screen. And a tropical storm watch also further north for Atlantic Canada, Prince Edward Island, and parts of Newfoundland and also New Brunswick. Storm surge warning for Salter Path to Pocason in the US East Coast there and for the Pamlico and Albemarle Sounds which are also still under warnings too. This is the expected rainfall over the next five days. Any of the pink areas depicted here indicate three inches of rain or higher. So the southern part of Nova Scotia will certainly get quite a lot of rainfall there and points further north as well. So this storm will deliver large amounts of rain even beyond the United States. Also the Cape Cod area under a tropical storm warning still could get some significant rainfall as well. Sea surface temperatures ahead of the storm still around 26 degrees Celsius for a little while yet. Before it gets to Nova Scotia it will fall well below the threshold required for tropical cyclone development. Here is a look at the next few days. You can see just how large that wind field gets and you can see in the how it intensifies again just before it strikes Nova Scotia. That's something to be concerned about. And then it shoots off towards the north. You see that other little tropical storm there on the right-hand side? That's Gabrielle. Um, that's moving off over the central Atlantic. But looking towards the next few days there, Dorian well off the map as an extra tropical cyclone heading towards um, the east. Well, these are the chances of tropical storm force winds. 93% still in Wilmington, that'll start to go down. 23% in Norfolk, 39% at Nantucket, 90% in Halifax, and 54% in Corner Brook. Pretty much assured the tropical storm conditions will be felt along coastal Nova Scotia here. And this is what the models are saying. So the models indicating that the storm is, of course, on a weakening trend, but could remain as a Category 1 for quite a little while before it does either turn post-tropical or weaken further. Wind shear though is really ramping up in the next uh, day or two. Sea surface temperatures will remain tolerable for the storm again for about a day and relative humidity starting to uh, increase again but that won't really be relevant. Well let's take a look at the latest satellite imagery. You can see how the storm is rapidly increasing in uh, speed moving off towards the northeast no more stalling for this storm and as you can see it has just been kissing the coast of the united states the whole time just about making a landfall on cape hatteras in those last frames um, so that is interesting and that would be if it is a landfall that's the first united states landfall remarkably even though it was less than 100 miles from the coast of florida and was closing in at every turn whilst the storm was paralleling the coast well, the storm structure itself isn't looking that bad. There's still convection blowing up. Dorian is still trying to intensify, as you can quite clearly see. And the influence from the storm extends out a large area at this point. You can see on the water vapor and this uh, air mass imagery just how expansive the storm's influence is and is extending further north. We'll have further updates on this storm as it approaches Atlantic Canada. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. 
You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.